I'm really alone out here. And it's nice. And it's quiet. The only fear that I have is that I'm alone. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully I'm okay. I've been really enjoying solitude. Going for walks alone, being surrounded by nature. I've been really enjoying it. It helps me generate ideas for creativity. This is being filmed with my iPhone 14. No excuses, guys. It's just me and my thoughts. This is wonderful. I wish you guys had access to a park that isn't that well known. Because this place isn't that well known. This is my second time here and it's just quiet. This is magical. I feel like I could write a book in here. I could. This whole forest can be a magical land and I just create characters and their life in here. It's so inspiring. If you guys ever have a roadblock with creativity, just isolate yourself, man. Get out, surround yourself in nature. One of my favorite places to go is in front of the water and also the forests and especially the mountains. I'm turning 30 next month, October, um, and I've noticed a few things. <laughs> things I would have probably never been interested in before. I just started getting into fiction novels and I can't stop talking about that to people because I never was a reader when I was younger. And I just started reading this really good book. It's amazing and it's crazy how reading can just bring you to another world. So lately I've just been so inspired. To tell a story is a very skillful thing to do. <laughs> like to have a whole world with characters in your head and to put that down on paper, to share it with everyone, that's a skill. But being that I'm very interested in short stories and novels and filmmaking, it makes me want to look further into improving my skills in writing. If you guys are having a creativity block, pick up a book and read. There's a whole world in a book that can inspire you. Why, why wasn't I doing this before? I don't know. I guess turning 30 really does something to you. That's some next level jungle bug and still not one person in sight i wonder if this reserve is haunted or something is there something i don't know <laughs> guys anyone <laughs> hello hi where are you going hold on i just want to talk there's nobody else here besides you and me, friend. Franklin, wait. It's just us, buddy. I need a friend. There's nobody here. Pretty fast, right? Pretty fast for a tortoise. You don't want to hang out? You don't want to talk? Oh, okay. All right, I, I get it. Oh my gosh, what is this? If I could explain it, amaretto. That's what it smelled like. I wonder what that was. That was beautiful. Don't judge me for this, but I low-key want to take a mushroom and eat it. Will I hallucinate? Or will I? Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. This is what life is about, guys. 
It's about wandering places, discovering places, being with your thoughts, and embracing yourself for who you are. We can emancipate our schedules from meaningless tasks and in the process, lift ourselves to higher standards and higher planes of joy and purpose. We can, through conscious design and vigilant protection of our time and agenda, take back our destiny and make each day artful and fulfilling. But to do so, we must take a long, unflinching look at our habit of giving our lives and agendas over to others or to meaningless things. We have to say no more often. We have to focus more. We have to fight harder to safeguard our time and our dreams and our souls. Let us now get serious about our days and who we are becoming because of them. Let's get serious about the aim and enjoyment of a meaningful life. It is time to value the hour once more and refuse to give up our lives to the world's distractions and nonsense. It is time to make our own way and get back our day. For this, we declare, we shall reclaim our agenda. The Motivation Manifesto, Brendan Burchard.